about time we get up front and get strapped in, Mr. President. We are flying over the Bermuda Triangle, after all. Oh, we're trying to evacuate now, Mr. President! We're trying to save you! Good luck, sir. Marie Celeste set sail from New York Harbor on December 5, 1872, to transport cargo to a specified destination. Unfortunately, the ship never arrived at the destination. The ship was discovered adrift in the Bermuda Triangle after several search and rescue efforts, but without its crew of 11 people. Personal belongings, food containers, valuable cargo, and lifeboats remained on the ship. What's more, there was rotten food on the plates in the dining area, which is highly speculative. What happened to these people to cause them to abandon their safe haven in the middle of a stormy sea, especially in the middle of a meal? While Ellen Austin was on its way in 1881, the crew came across an abandoned ship with all of its amenities intact, but no crew members on board. In an attempt to save the ship, some of Ellen Austin's crew boarded the nameless ship and sailed it to New York. Ellen Austin's crew lost track of the abandoned ship during the course. When they found it again, the ghostly ship was crewless. That's when Ellen Austin requested a rescue ship. Ellen Austin was once again dispatching a few of its crew members to the nameless ship. Rescue ships never found either of the two after reaching the communicated point. Ellen Austin and the ghostly ship had disappeared. There have been several reports of Ellen Austin being seen with that ghostly ship either trying to mislead the ships or simply attempting to capture the dispatched crew members. On the eve of December 5, 1945, five of the US Navy's best Avenger bombers vanished into thin air while on a routine mission. Lieutenant Charles Taylor, the squadron's commander, was constantly in contact with the base until his frequency went out in the middle of a sentence. There was no static or lost signal, just a complete link failure. The five planes were never seen or heard from again. To top it all off, the rescue team sent to recover the planes never arrived. The rescue team vanished in a similar manner when their frequency failed mid-sentence. The case was closed with the tag, Cause Unknown, after years of investigation. Those are some of the strangest accounts of unfortunate incidents that happened in the Bermuda Triangle. But what exactly is the Bermuda Triangle? Vincent H. Gaddis coined the term Bermuda Triangle in 1964. He wrote an article about the strange disappearance pattern in the Triangle. Bermuda Triangle, once an unnamed area in the North Atlantic Ocean, and its stories became popular in the 1970s. Many pilot and sea navigators came forward to tell their stories of mishaps and loss. Many of these Bermuda Triangle stories were discovered to be fabricated in order to gain publicity, while others were supported by solid evidence. In fact, the first written account of it appears in the 15th century journal of the famous sea explorer Christopher Columbus. His compass went berserk when they crossed an unseen boundary between Florida and Puerto Rico, he wrote in his journal. Since then, many stories have circulated, and to cut a long story short, here's everything you need to know to raise and quell your curiosity about the infamous triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is a triangle in the Atlantic Ocean that connects Florida, the Bermuda Islands, and Puerto Rico. There have been numerous unexplained disturbances over the last century or so. Thousands of people, as well as hundreds of ships and planes, have gone missing in the area. On rare occasions, the ships have been discovered, but without the managing crew or all of the supplies. On other occasions, they simply vanished into thin air, as if they had never existed. According to some reports, debris washed ashore, including radars and compasses with no visible flaws. Nobody knows what happened, but a few people claim to have discovered the Bermuda Triangle truth. Possible Causes of Triangle Tragedies there are numerous strange and unbelievable theories surrounding the Bermuda Triangle. Some have scientific explanations, while others are simply ostensible myths. Let's take a close look at them so you can decide which one to bet on. Theory number one, Devil's Triangle. This is the most commonly used alias for the Bermuda Triangle. It is believed that all of the lives lost were sacrificed to Satan. Many times, it is implied that all of those people have been sucked into Satan's demonic alley of hell, dragged deep into the fiery pits of hell. There aren't many chances for survivors. Theory number two, alien base. According to some science fiction experts, the Bermuda Triangle is an extraterrestrial base. People have reported seeing strange lights appear in the sky, blinking some secret signal, and then disappearing just as quickly. Strange noises accompanied the alien lights at times, sounding like unintelligible words and eerie chants. 
the noises were actually chilling sounds that could jar even the most composed of minds. Theory number three, magnetic field. Compass and other electronic devices are said to malfunction in this location. Many planes and ships have vanished into thin air as a result of the aforementioned phenomenon. No technology has yet been developed that can defy this strange occurrence when exposed to its peculiar magnetic field. Just so you know, the periphery of the Bermuda Triangle can be determined when your compass suddenly goes berserk. Theory number four, the lost city of Atlantis. The Bermuda Triangle is said to be the location where Atlantis is submerged in the ocean. It is said that the power and charge of Atlantis is to blame for all disappearances. It is commonly believed that the battered souls and demons of Atlantis attack ships and airplanes in order to avenge their ruins. This Bermuda Triangle theory appears to be implausible. However, you may never know what strange things have occurred in the Bermuda Triangle. Theory number five, time travel tunnel. The time travel theory is number five on our list of Bermuda Triangle theories. People claim to have encountered electronic fog in the triangle, which causes time lapse and, in some cases, loss of track during tunneling. Mr. Bruce Gernon's account has received the most attention. He claimed to have lost 28 minutes while flying over the Bermuda Triangle before resurfacing on Miami Beach, 100 miles away from his source. He claimed that all of this travel took only a few seconds. He also failed to notice the changes in the landscape and atmosphere. Even the people at the base station confirmed that the plane went off the radar, only to reappear in Miami seconds later. Theory number six, secret organization. Some activists even believe that a secret organization exists in the Bermuda Triangle. Members of said organization kidnap and kill anyone who comes too close to their base or their secret both metaphorically and literally. Furthermore, the organization is said to have installed interceptors, which cause electronic devices, including compass navigation, to malfunction. Nobody knows how much truth is in such claims, but the pattern is similar to Bermuda Triangle mysteries. The Bermuda Triangle secret is said to have been discovered. Take a look and decide whether it's convincing enough for you or just a hoax, and comment your thought on this below. Now, let's talk about, is the Bermuda Triangle mystery solved? National Geographic has now claimed and lauded that the Bermuda Triangle mystery has been solved. It asserts that the Bermuda Triangle is the only location after the North Pole where the magnetic field is such that all compasses point to true north rather than magnetic north. If not compensated for, such abrupt changes in navigation can be fatal. It has led many such aircraft and sea ships astray, straight to their demise. What it doesn't explain is how the ships were discovered intact with no internal or external damage, with all of their supplies, including lifeboats, but without their crew floating aimlessly in the Bermuda Triangle. Can you believe that all of these deaths and property losses were caused by the incorrect navigation of a small needle? Even thinking about it seems anticlimactic, but it's true if world scientists and National Geographic officials have anything to say about it. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and press the notification bell so you never miss out on our next videos. Until the next video, take care.